What's going on, Ravens fans, Ravens fanatics, brothers, sisters, my YouTube subscribers? This is the Ravens Blackbird. You've reached my Baltimore Ravens YouTube channel, which covers, of course, our Baltimore Ravens uh, and also color covers politics, poetry, uh, current events, uh, and also Christianity and religion. Okay, if, if you love those type of things, uh, you find the right channel. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please right below this video, you will see subscribe and a bell. Please click the subscribe button so that you will receive notifications every time I post a new video. You will get that notification and so you won't miss out on anything. And if you have a Twitter account and you're active on Twitter, which I am, follow me on Twitter at the Virgo Poet. That's all one word, the at sign and then Virgo Poet. Uh, that will be posted and in the comments section all the way at the very bottom where you can't go any longer in the comments section there will be uh my twitter name at the verbal point my baltimore ravens group if you're looking for a facebook baltimore ravens group i'm the administrator of a, of a baltimore ravens group you must be a baltimore ravens fan to to be in the group click that link you'll find it all the way in the bottom in the comments section as well Okay, and we're going to touch on some things. A lot of things have been transpiring. We know the season just ended. Uh, congratulations again to the Kansas City Chiefs, who we know just beat the 49ers. And I still believe the Baltimore Ravens should have been in the Super Bowl this year uh, playing the San Francisco 49ers. But again, I'm entitled to my opinion. I have a video on my playlist that talks about that. Uh, today we're going to talk about James Hurst, uh, our offensive lineman who was just suspended for four games. Uh, he violated the NFL, NFL's policy on the performance-enhancing substances. We're also going to talk about Tony Jefferson, uh, Chuck Clark very briefly. Uh, also, we're going to talk about uh, special teams punt returner uh, Jordan Richards, who the Baltimore Ravens just uh, extended the contract to him and to Chuck Clark as well. So let's start with James Hurst. Uh, if anybody is very familiar with him, if, you, if you're a Ravens fan and been following James Hurst is a, uh, one of our offensive linemen. He's been very consistent. Uh, he can play multiple positions on the offensive line. Uh, he's he's been doing pre a pretty pretty good job for for the for the Ravens. Uh, kind of been under the radar in, in things, but just been consistent. Uh, well, he was just suspended for four games and uh, for violating the NFL's policy on performance enhancing substance. Now, if anybody. Uh, Maybe you're watching and maybe you don't understand what, it, what that is. It's like steroids or thing, anything that can enhance the way you play. Like Lau Lau Zedo, if you remember what happened with Lau Lau Zedo, he, he was taking steroids. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what James Hurst was taking, but it was something to the point to make him play better, enhance maybe his muscles, uh, enhance, uh, make him, you know, uh, not get tired, you know, quick or something. Whatever it was, it was something that violated the NFL's policy. It's an a performance enhancing substance, a drug that that enhances him to be able to play in, in, a, in, a, in a, a superhuman manner. Whatever that type, whatever it was he was taking. Anyway, uh, the point that I want to make is that if you follow Baltimore Ravens history, Ravens fans, the Baltimore Ravens have, I call it, I don't know if this is what they call it, but I call it a, 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 a zero tolerance policy, a zero tolerance policy. And what I mean by that is that the Baltimore Ravens have always been about having a, a clean image. Okay. Um, if you remember what, uh, what happened in the past with Ray Rice, with Bernard uh, Pierce, uh, uh, and a few other guys that got, you know, got in, in some trouble, um, the Ravens uh, didn't keep them around long. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the same situation with James Hurst. I know we're, we're human, okay? We make mistakes, Ravens fan. Uh, we, and we, a lot of times we do some knuckleheaded things. I've done knuckleheaded things, and you have too. Uh, a lot of people will say, well, why would the Ravens just let James Hurst go for something like that? Well, you do your research in the past. Guys that have violated NFL's uh, uh, substance abuse policy or you know alcohol, like Bernard Pierce, uh, if you remember Bernard Pierce, he was one of our running backs, and he was actually a very, a very, very good running back. Uh, this guy, uh, when he ran, people say they could hear his footsteps on the field. He ran so hard, Bernard Pierce, and the Ravens had let him go uh, after they found out that he uh, was pulled over for uh, alcohol, okay, uh, driving under the abuse of alcohol. So the Ravens have always been about let's keep a clean 
policy. Okay, let's keep it clean. Uh, let's keep the image clean because what one player does affects the other team members and players. It affects the organization. And 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 if you look at what happened with Ray Rice, they didn't keep Ray Rice. When Ray Rice did what he did, you know, it came back on him, and boom, they let him go. So I don't know if this is going to be the same case with James Hurst, um, you know, but I do know in the past, you know, before, you know, we got our new general manager, okay, when Ozzie Newsom was general, general manager, you know, it was, you know, a, a, a no tolerance policy. We, we, we don't tolerate guys that should know better, you know, even though we make mistakes, but understand what you just did affects our organization. Okay, so we hope that James Hurst learns from this. He will be suspended for the first four games of the 2020 season going into the uh, 2021 season. Uh, so be expecting not to see him the first four games. Uh, he was suspended for that. Next, we're going to move on to uh, some big news some shocking news. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens just released safety Tony Jefferson. Wow. That's the first thing I said when I saw that Ravens fans was wow. And uh, I had to sit back and understand what, what was going on. Why would they let him go? They let Zadarius Smith go uh, last season. They had let Eric Weddle go. They seemed to be letting all these good players that, that are Terrell Suggs, they just let him walk away. You know, and he just got another ring with Kansas City. <laughs> so, but uh, I did some research and it, and it both instances, two things is the reason why I believe it uh, a really uh, – propelled this 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 decision. Number one, we know Chuck Clark uh, filled in the gap for Tony Jefferson when he was hurt uh, in the regular season. Uh, I think something with his leg or something, but Tony Jefferson was out. Chuck Clark comes in and he played lights out. Just amazing football. So we just uh, gave Chuck Clark an extension, a three-year deal extension. What's up, Chuck? If you're watching this video, if you get a hold of this video, Welcome to the Ravens, and, and I'm glad to see you, you know, got your extension, uh, and we welcome you to the Baltimore Ravens organization for the next at least three years. So um, the Ravens felt, okay, now we got Chuck Clark, uh, and so why should we need to keep Tony Jefferson? And on top of this, Ravens fans, I don't know if you know this, but releasing Tony Jefferson saves the Baltimore Ravens $7.5 million in the salary cap. <laughs> Yes, $7.5 million being saved in the salary cap, y'all. You know what that means? That means we can take that money. Now we can spend it in other areas where we need players. We still need a pass rusher. I still think the Ravens need to add a pass rusher to the team and many other areas that we may need. So that's a lot of money they just saved by letting Jefferson go. And prior to that, I didn't do my research and I was kind of discombobulated as to why they would do that. So letting... Jefferson go saves us a lot of money in, in, in the cap space. And also, uh, Tony Jefferson, when he got injured, understand this, Jefferson's injury created a spotlight chance for Chuck Clark to shine. Had Jefferson never got injured, we would have never known the potential that Chuck Clark could bring to the Baltimore Ravens. So no, we don't praise the injury. No, we don't say, well, thank God he got injured. But I always look in a bad situation and I find good in the bad situation. So the good that came out of it was Chuck Clark played lights out. Chuck Clark uh, got a spotlight chance to showcase his skills. Chuck Clark just got signed to a, a three-year deal extension. And also this now uh, allows the Ravens to save a lot of money in the cap space area. So I wanted to touch bases on that. And uh, we're going to definitely miss Tony Jefferson uh, because he, he played when he was – well, you know, and wasn't injured. He played well on the scrimmage. He would play close on the scrimmage and he would play off of the scrimmage going deep. He could check players going going on the deep ball, you know, and also playing on the scrimmage. You know, he, he could tackle. He was a very strong tackler. You know, he did, he wasn't a real big guy. Tony Jefferson's not a real big guy, but he's physical. And and uh with that being physical, he tackled, you know. So we'll miss Tony Jefferson. Lastly, Ravens fans, I want to touch on uh a special team pump returner. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Uh, he just came to the Ravens organization about the middle of the season or so, uh, just this past season. Uh, Jordan Richards. Now, if you're not familiar with Jordan Richards, Jordan Richards played initially with the New England Patriots. Okay. Uh, the New England Patriots released him. We had a, a, a 
uh, Justin Bethel that, that we got from the Green Bay Packers. Actually, we didn't get him from the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers let him go. Okay, they released him. So we pick up Bethel, uh, and then we release Bethel. The New England Patriots sign Bethel, and then they let Jordan Richards go, and we swap and sign Richards. Well, Jordan Richards played very well for the special teams this past season. He even got a touchdown off the uh, uh, a punt return against the Steelers uh, in the rain in a regular season game. So uh, we welcome Jordan Richards. The Ravens just signed him to a one-year deal extension, okay, uh, because he did perform well. So I wanted to touch bases, and I wanted to thank the New England Patriots <laughs> for letting or releasing Jordan Richards off of their team because now he's a Baltimore Raven, and, and he's performing well for the Ravens organization. So uh, I want to touch bases on James Hurst, Tony Jefferson being released, Chuck Clark signing a three-year deal, and – Jordan Richards signing a one-year deal extension, okay? Um, and the next video, Ravens fans, I'm going to touch on uh, Jimmy Smith, uh, Matthew Judon, and Eric Weddle, who we know just retired, who will always be a Baltimore Raven. And again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, it takes one quick second to do that. Right below this video, click the subscribe button, y'all. Leave comments. Maybe you have uh, some things, you you know, some questions or just let me know you watched the video and leave some comments <laughs> at the very bottom. Uh, click the like button if you like the video. Okay, I'm going to keep putting them out. Uh, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at The Virgo Poet. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. This is The Ravenous Blackbird. And I will see you in the next video. Cool!